Um, my name is Melissa, and I own a hedgehog. It is my first pet ever, and I just wanted to give an intro to hedgehogs for those who are curious. And yeah, so this is my hedgie. She's a little shy right now. She's usually quite awesome. Her name is Penelope. Penelope Pickles. That is her, and she's squirming to get out because she doesn't like the light. But anyways. Um, hedgehogs make great pets, but they're not for everyone. If you're looking for a cuddly pet, if you're looking for um, basically a pet that will come when you call it, this is not the pet for you. Um, hedgehogs usually do their own thing. If you live in an apartment, it's actually a very good pet. Um, I've been a server for years, and it's great because I sleep all day and I work all night, so, well, actually, no, it's the reverse. I'm up all night and I sleep all, eh, my shifts vary. But anyways, um, I am a night owl, so it's great that Penny is up when I'm up, so then we get to play together and hang out, and it's fun when you socialize, but you must know that hedgehogs are not naturally sociable animals. So she often tends to hide, that's what they do. If your hedgehog is huffing at you a lot and balling up, it, it doesn't mean they hate you. They are just all like that. So you have to kind of get over yourself and be okay with the fact that they're huffing and things like that. It's nothing personal, all hedgehogs do that. So, so there have been a lot of questions about owning a hedgehog. Number one question has always been, what do they feel like? Well, they actually, when they're not defensive and they have their coils down, they're actually fine. They, um, they feel like a brush, very much. So, um, yeah, it's like that. When they are up, they do, they don't hurt, but, um, they are uncomfortable, definitely. But after a while, you get used to it. Hedgehogs take a lot of time and a lot of patience. In fact, many of them ball up. If you go and get a hedgehog to a pet shop, it's not really the best idea because they don't get socialized every day. They might ball up. Um, they're often not treated very well. Um, not all pet shops, though. I would recommend going to a breeder. You can speak with a breeder constantly. You know they're being socialized. Also, check for you know, backup information, um, stuff like that. You should get certificates and things like that. Anyways, um, I went through a breeder. I'm from Toronto. Um, I found a breeder, Miss Saga. She's excellent. Uh, Penelope warmed up to me after about five months. So, and that's actually a good amount of time. Sometimes hedgehogs take about a year to trust you. Um, many have been known to ball up for a very long time and not trust you for a long time so it's a work in progress um, what does help though is having a t-shirt where they sleep and they will pick up your scent they're very accustomed to smelling if you are a new owner of a hedgehog I would suggest that you don't wear gloves even when they're defensive because they do have to get used to being held by hand and they do have to get used to your scent um, I can actually go out with my friends and I don't have to worry about you know, as long as she has fresh water and fresh food and a clean wheel, she's okay. Um, I can leave her and she's fine. They do like to eat mealworms, although it's not their main source of diet. They're insectivores. However, um, a high-grade, uh, low-fat kind of cat food is, dry cat food, is necessary for them. And it's not so expensive either. Um, feed them mealworms, but not too many. Don't make it their main diet. They do need a wheel. They run a lot. When you're sleeping, you will see an entire wheel covered in poop. They do like to run all night. Mine runs for about two to three hours. They don't need a lot of baths. It depends on you. When when they're first um, when they're first you know when they're babies and stuff, they tend to lose their quills because they that's their baby quills and they shed them and then they have their adult quills. Um, Penelope here went through a lot of itching and scratching and we had a lot of oatmeal baths. Um, let's see, what else do we need to know? Uh, 
uh, she's trying to escape, <laughs> but uh, she cannot. They do like warm temperatures, hopefully. I live in a basement and it's kind of cool sometimes, but I make sure she has lots of fleecy blankets. Actually, a lot of nights I let her sleep in my bed and uh, now that I've socialized her after six months, she does like to cuddle up underneath my arm. Um, <laughs> she's kind of upset. They do anoint. Anointing is a process where basically they're trying to acquire a scent. So if there's any kind of strong smell, like say from your t-shirt or anything like that, they'll actually try and bite fibers from it. And then they'll make a huge froth in, in, in their mouth and then try and lick their back and all this foamy spittle will be on their back because they're trying to acquire that scent. You can look up hedgehogs anointing and you'll definitely see some behaviors that are very specific to hedgehogs. She's saying, get me out, please. Hedgehogs come in all kinds of colors. You can get albino, salt and pepper, champagne, cinnamon, um, so you can pick out a color you want, but what's more important is that you're a capable owner. Um, they're not recommended for very small children because they're not very playful and they are a bit shy. So, you know, kids can sometimes be, a, they might not be able to handle them and they are um, a bit of a responsibility. They can also be litter trained, uh, which is great because they don't have so much of the poopy smell that you would with a dog or anything like that. Easy easy to maintain, just get um, some of that uh, kitty litter that can cover up odors and it's great. So I just shovel that stuff out, all that crap, uh, uh, every day or every other day. Um, um, I do also have some cat toys for Penny, however she does not care for any of them. She does like to just hang out and hide and things like that. Um, but that's about it. She is a great pet for me um, because sometimes I feel shy and I just like to hang out and be quiet. Um, so she's great. What I would recommend for people who are interested in getting a hedgehog is really get to know the community, get to know some people who do own hedgehogs, um, do a lot of research. I did about six months of research before I picked up Penny because I wanted to make sure she was right for me. Um, they're great for people with allergies. I'm actually allergic to pretty much everything under the sun. Um, I'm allergic to cats and dogs and guinea pigs and thankfully they're not rodents so um, she doesn't shed in the same way so she's great I have uh, had absolutely no allergic reactions so they make great pets for that uh, she can purr they don't make any noise I live in an apartment so it's perfect for that and she doesn't smell or cause a lot of commotion so she's actually a very awesome pet but as you can see she's a squirmer so let's just see what she looks like up there here's Penny yes <laughs> she's fighting right now but she's actually quite cute. She's not actually scared, they're just shy. So, she's okay. Aren't you? Hmm? Okay, well, if you have any questions, please post it below in the comment section. And I hope I answered some of your questions so far. But if I haven't covered anything, I've kind of been rambling, so please let me know. And I will be more than happy to answer, answer any of your questions. Uh, especially if they're non-trolling or <laughs> really inappropriate. Okay, well, I hope you have a good day, and me and Penny say goodbye. If you would like to see more pictures or get to know more of the community uh, to do with hedgehogs, please go to Facebook, and you're on Facebook, please go to Penelope Pickles, that's P-E-N-E-L-O-P-E, -E -E, uh, space Pickles, P-I-C-K-L-E-S, and you can see photo, uh, snapshot, snapshot stories. Any of your questions can be answered. There's numerous hedgehog owners on it, uh, especially the owner of Schming, um, a very proud friend of mine, Francis, is on there as well. And she's very experienced with hedgehogs. Um, so yeah, just uh, look us up or leave a comment um, below on the YouTube comment page. And thank you for listening. Take care.